episode. After a fantastic first day of racing at the Le Mans Bugatti circuit, we were back for day two and the drivers were presented with another wet race to wet their appetites. The pace truck would lead us round for the usual formation lap, but the drivers would still have to complete another lap of racing under yellow just to make sure that everybody could get round safely. Before we knew it though, we were underway and it was Kish leading away Sasha Lenz, Jochen Hahn, René Reiner after a great qualifying session in fourth and Antonio Albacete in fifth position. René Reiner would very quickly come under pressure though from the drivers behind. Albacete, Kersim, Lachko and Steffi Halm all queuing up to have a go at the German. Albacete would get the move done in the very first lap of the race in a hope to go chasing after Jochen Hahn. Soon enough though the top three would make a breakaway and Antonio would not be able to bridge that gap enough to make a challenge before the end of the race. The battles then started erupting behind though. Adam Latchko having a fantastic fight holding off Andre Kersim and Steffi Halm whilst overtaking or at least trying to overtake the number 77 in front of him. He would eventually get it done down the inside into the Dunlop chicane but it had certainly taken a number of laps for him to find the weak spot for Reiner who would then have to go instantly defensive on Kurzim, and not without a bit of contact. Eventually Kurzim would try and sweep around the outside using all of the grip in the wet weather available, but it wouldn't pay off the first time round, that's for sure. He was eventually back in front with this beautiful sweep around the outside, but there were still trucks queuing up behind Reiner to try and get past again. Steffi Helm this time leading the charge against Shane Brereton. Three wide into one corner doesn't go, and it was a good thing that Shane Brereton knew that. He backed out of this manoeuvre, while Halm tried to go around the outside. Soon Steffi would lose bodywork from the truck after this collision with the penalty markers. Some very, very hard racing between herself and Brereton along the way. Steffi would get ahead of the 77 and more contact from Shane Brereton. Would damage the back of Reinert's truck. Eventually, though, he would succumb to the pressure and Brereton would get in front. All the while though, Norbert Kish held on to a fantastic lead advantage, making the gap bigger and bigger and driving off as he does over the horizon from Lenz and Hahn. Taking another race victory, his eighth of the championship, Kish led home a very drifty Sasha Lenz and Jochen Hahn to make a rather familiar podium. A Kish for Kish and a fantastic celebration once again. He was looking forward to another afternoon. Was it out there? It was very slippery in the beginning. Um, yeah, it was, we set our truck so it would dry up. So in the beginning, it was very difficult. About three laps in, it started to come. Um, and then one lap to go was very difficult. I looked at the space behind, and I had to slow up, risk not getting a marker, because I was on a warning. Shane Brereton there finished in eighth position overall, winning the Goodyear Cup, but Kish won the race from Lenz, Hahn, Albacete and Adam Lachko. Andre Kersin was sixth ahead of Steffi Halm and the aforementioned Shane Brereton. Then it's René Reiner and Stefan Fass in tenth. Liri Requenko finished in eleventh ahead of Luke Garrett and Heinrich Clemens Hecker, with Jamie Anderson getting disqualified for overspeeding. He'd hoped to turn his afternoon around with the fourth race of the weekend later on. <laughs> 